Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ultimate JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We begin with the launch of a Minmus Relay that I promised at the end of the previous video. Uh, we have one of these Reaper Helical Antenna Arrays and we've also got these uh, Biconical Horn Antennae. So uh, that should be enough. They're all relays and they are combinable. Uh, I don't know if they are going to have any problems that require a high quality data transmitter, but by the time they go bust, we'll probably have better antennae anyway. Uh, I don't know about their bandwidth and everything. Um, so we've got one of the normal probe cores that I've been using. We've got, the windows always want, always want to go behind there. Uh, one of these Kodak Marcot, whatever, uh, orbital propulsion systems. And it's got a little tiny engine on the tail, some RCS and it gives 1433 meters per second so that's the important part um, doesn't seem to have a time limit on it so yeah I, I unlocked these uh, solar paddles because it said that they could orient themselves to uh, sunlight so I decided that, that was good but just in case we also have two RTGs I don't want this to run out of power or give me any messages about power so that is how that is We've spared no expense, as it is said, and the upper stage is a Hebel engine, and the lower stage, I'm happy to report, is a swivel engine, finally. We're finally, maybe we should use something like that. Yeah, a swivel engine. Long time no see. Anyway, uh, so that is the situation. We've got high quality there, but we really only need 5 minutes and 43 seconds. And so, without further ado, uh, let's get this on its way. Well... On the one hand, I don't want to launch at night time. Oh, well, we're pretty close to daylight. We might as well time warp. We don't have anything that can boil off anyway. And... The only thing was I didn't want it to get too far away from our other mission already headed out, the Hermes Transfer 2. So that the Hermes Transfer 2 can use this as a relay. So, oh, well. It's still a little bit dark, but... Nominally daylight. SAS on. Throttle is up and launch okay my throttle is now working today I think something else takes control over it sometimes uh, but the the swivel traditional though it might be is not as good at gimbling as some of the engines from Blue Dog Design Bureau so we have to be careful we don't have fins or anything Okay, we have broken through the clouds. That layers look a little bit weird. Okay, staging. Staging. And this doesn't have much thrust weight ratio, but it'll be enough. This time. And fairings. Ooh, that one got caught. I don't think these need any activation, they're just always on. Unbreakable antennae. Good times. Well, we'll have plenty enough to transfer over to Minmus with this stage. All well, the sun is right in front of us, so... I guess they are orienting properly. Just wanted to check that. We haven't had orienting solar panels yet. I think these are the first ones that we've unlocked. Okay, that's good enough for me. Alright, 105 by 91, and we certainly have enough to transfer over to Minmus with. The beep agrees with me. And we have no boil off to worry about, we'll just wait one orbit. And go. We have lost comms, how ironic. Um, technically this is okay because we have enough delta v in the upper stage to fix it after the fact i anticipated this possible eventuality but it still sucks <laughs> we're going too far no no well, we've lost fuel but uh yep that's the end of that stage we'll fix it we'll fix it okay we've got comms all right, yeah, we might need some more support right around Kerbin too. 
it would have been great if this satellite had the range to from Minmus cover everything, right? If it had, uh, it's, there's two ranges, right? There's the DSN range, which it has with respect to the Kerbin based locations, com locations, and what it can do t with other satellites or with other, you know, probes. And what it can do with other probes is not enough to cover the full distance between Minmus and Kerbin, unfortunately. But if it could, then it could provide communication assistance to everything. Okay, well, separation and ignition. We'll just undo that portion. That won't be quite right, but it'll be close. We only need enough to get into orbit around Minmus after all. Okay, well, I'll correct the rest on the mid-course adjustment. Which we will replot. Oh, I brought it in a little bit too much, I think. No need to put it equatorial or close to Minmus, that's for sure. We can just capture her out here and sort of at an inclined orbit. And that will cost, it'll cost more than capturing low, but not by much. 262, and we have it. So we'll sort of leave it loose like that. Okay. All right, that is good enough. So let me just add an alarm for this thing's SOI change. But we'll follow Hermes Transfer 2 in first. And it's not too far ahead, though. Well, right now, this thing is communicating direct to KSC, and it doesn't seem to be attempting to use our relay. And... I don't know. I mean, this shouldn't be a distance that is impossible for those relay antennae to cover. So I'm a bit worried. We've only got 33% signal strength. I don't know. Why aren't you using the relay? Well, it's out of comms, so... That sure didn't work. Let us check on the actual antennae on this Mimus relay to see whether I'm out of my mind or something. Okay, so this thing has an intrinsic antenna rating of 26.7M, which I took to mean 26,700 kilometers. Uh, I would like it to be like that. Uh, this one is relayed 33.3 megameters. I mean, it's megameters. It is 33,300 kilometers. And then with the DSN, it gets to be 1.3 million kilometers. And so we have two of those, and we have one of these, which uh, has 1.2 million kilometers of DSN level 2, but its intrinsic rating is 26,700 kilometers. Okay, so at the very least we should be getting 26,700 kilometers of relay capability, right? But I guess it depends on the antenna on the transfer vehicle. It can, I guess it's both of them. Gosh, let's see what how far it is for the antenna on the transfer vehicle. We can do some crazy stuff, but it's not gonna be good. <laughs> uh, let's see. We really only have this thing, and this thing has uh, an antenna rating of... Is that 13 kilometers? Well, that's not gonna be very good, is it? Let me just see what we can do with the... Relay. But it is conceivable that we can just drag ourselves over there and meet up with Minmus right when it's meeting up with Minmus. And get really, really close. Well, there. Uh, well, within a minute, they'll be within a kilometer of each other with this burn. I don't know whether it is a good thing or not, but uh, sure, let's try it. Okay, so that's a heck of a thing. I didn't even realize I could get it that close like this, but here we are. Go. We need the distance and the time to be right. Okay. Let's see. 
Well, within two minutes, less than a kilometer. But, I mean, we're talking about the Mimus transfer, or Hermes transfer 2, only having 13 kilometers range in theory. At least to this. Obviously more range to the DSN network, but to this, only 13 kilometers in theory. So, we will see. Let's jump back to it. Okay, well, let's head into Minmus SOI and see if our little ploy has helped. It's a pretty extreme thing we've done with the Minmus Relay. Uh, made it a very pointed sort of approach. It's gonna take extra to slow it down. Uh, Dudebus Kerman is losing his mind. Dubus is in the Leo 1, which has plenty of stuff. 33% stress, though. I mean, 30 days of food, 28 days of water, cramped. I guess, well, I mean, I guess the original numbers for the habitat were meant for if they had a companion or, you know, somebody else there. The, uh, the not alone is not satisfied, but the call home should be fine. So I don't get why there's not a call home thing. Need to find some way to put plants in, apparently. Okay, well that's not going great, but it's not our primary concern right now. Oh, 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 we've got a little weak line, I think, I saw. Let's jump to it. Okay, we have picked up the Minmus Relay, signal, st signal strength 12%. Alright, so we're in business. We didn't really have to come as close as all that, uh, not 13 kilometers or anything. We are in better shape than that. Okay, well, covering is far away, and that might be Minmus over there. Okay, so let's just proceed. Since we have gotten the signal early, I think I'll have the Minmus Relay to step aside and capture quicker. So we're doing a fairly weird thing. We're doing a whole lot of radial burning and also retro burning in order to get to capture well before periapsis. And it'll be in this inclined orbit, but that should be fine for relaying. So it's probably better that way. And we have the Delta V, so that is what we're going to do. Okay, ignition. Okay, I think that should be good enough. We have captured and everything. Back to Hermes Transfer 2. And proceeding on to Periapsis. Now this would like to be in line with Hermes Transfer and Hermes Lander. We should probably be a little bit closer to but maybe we don't need to fix that just yet. Let's just leave it like this. Oh, the signal strength is dropping down pretty quickly though. Okay, uh, maybe we need to do a quicker capture here. The Mimus relay is getting stretched a little bit. We shouldn't have made it as slow as we did. We need to slow down ourselves here. We'll start like that. That'll help. Well, again, on the bright side, it definitely has enough to return home and capture into low Kerbin orbit after all this. And go. Okay. Well, we've captured, and that's the most important part. And our signal strength, because we've slowed down now, won't go down quite as quickly, but it's still going down. So at periapsis, we're gonna lose it probably. Well, let me remind myself if uh, we can do the rendezvous with the other part. Yeah, this doesn't have too much. We don't have a good read on its delta V. But maybe we can at least have it get into the same plane. Let's just meet up with the Hermes lander. And right now we're at the ascending node here. So we'll just have everything get into a Hermes lander compatible position. Okay, well that's closer to the Hermes lander inclination. 
I think we better have the relay get in tighter so it can facilitate constant communication with everything. It's a little bit high up for the Hermes Transfer 2 to actually make use of it. And that's the most important bit right now. So I'm just gonna go straight retrograde here. And that should be good enough on the periapsis side. I didn't want to put it into a low orbit, but with the Hermes Transfer 2 having so little range, this is probably better. Okay, speaking of Hermes Transfer 2, let's get it situated finally. On the bright side, our orbit right now is actually really good for the MIMS lander. Actually, we might not even need to correct our inclination particularly, but we can do it just for simplicity's sake. We actually need to encounter the Hermes transfer vehicle. <laughs> uh, well, so let's cancel that. But that's a whole other business, isn't it? Looking at it. That's 107 meters per second it would cost to rendezvous. Maybe we should spend it. I think it's safer to just get uh, Luemini off of the original transfer vehicle sooner. And go. Okay. Now we have that encounter. I think we'll try and use the Hermes transfer to do as much as it can first to match orbits and then use this to do the rest. So, uh, we'll have to hope that we have comms. So let's see how that shapes up. That all depends on the timing with the Aminimus Relay. It looks okay. We'll pick up the Relay. Mm, the Relay might be too slow to get us over here. Maybe it'll be okay. Oh, okay, I think it'll be okay. Alright, let's see. Hermes Transfer. Switch to. Let's have Luemini just exhaust what propellant she has. Okay, here goes the burn from this side. I think it has plenty, actually. We should really get both of them to get into a lower orbit, but... Let's just keep it simple for now. Okay, we've put the intersect off until there. That's a little bit further off than I wanted. Okay, that's a little bit better. How many more ignitions? Eight more ignitions, in theory. I think we should have Luemini just go over there now. Okay, we have Insight. This doesn't have all that much food, water, and oxygen, right? Well, a few days. In a pinch, it could be used for something. But, alright, EVA. Well, we fulfilled the contract, right? We were supposed to EVA uh, rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Minmus and do an orbital spacewalk near Minmus. We have done that. And uh, maybe we should get the EVA report. <laughs> And I guess we can just do that while making our way over there, surely. Oh, it's going faster than I thought it was. Okay, we've stored the EV report in here. I'm all bored. All right. And we've transferred the data. Well... We'll uh, wait one more orbit and then drop down to the level of the lander. So we'll do that part now. Okay, orbit retrograde. And go. Well, there's some sort of encounter right there. Two kilometers sounds fine. All right, there is our lander. 
Okay, slowing down. All right, I think Luemini can just head over there. Always weird to have a farmer be the first one to land a Minmus, but here we are. It does occur to me we're gonna have less Delta V in it than we were expecting since the Kerbals have mass. Maybe you should just get rid of the docking port. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, just a simple part. Right. It's probably a good idea. Hopefully. And it does mean that it's not reusable, but we'll probably redesign it anyway. A lot better engines and everything. 18 ignitions. Okay, now we have to land somewhere. I wonder, let, let's just take a look at the contracts we have available. I mean, of course, we have to keep in mind that some of them require a new vessel, but if we can pick up something that might be worthwhile, we'll see. Explore moon. Well, we have a dock two vessels on or around the moon. Just not from Minmus. We have a rescue a Kerbal from Minmus that we still have to do. Bring a green sandstone on Minmus back to Kerbin. Well, it doesn't require a new vessel. Find one of these in Midlands, Brown Highlands, or Basins biome. Well, we can try it. But that's probably more mass. We'll have to watch out. Okay. Well, we'll try for a green sandstone, but no guarantees. wonder if Megjeb could at least show us the surface info. Basins. We're just above basins right now. It doesn't have the biomes here, but there was the brown something or another that we could be above. I'm gonna just go for a basin. I think it said that the green sandstone was at a basin too. Gotta set up the initial descent burn so that we have a more optimal approach, hopefully. Brown Midlands, brown... oh, there's brown lowlands. Nothing about this looks brown, by the way. Brown basins, even. Was it brown basins or just basins? Hmm. It says brown highlands or basins biomes. Does that include brown basins? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, not, now we've got sort of a comma thing. It could be brown highlands or basins. Does that mean brown basins or just any basins? It's so confusing. I think we'll try for brown basins and see. I mean, we've got time on the contract at least. Okay, and touchdown. All right, engine off. Right, 